what's up guys it's Bridget welcome back to my channel hope you're all having an awesome day and today's video is going to be something I was a little bit nervous about filming but today I'm just really inspired to just go ahead and put it out there today we're gonna talk about five things that I have an issue with on Instagram and this is no drama no tea this is just some things that are different than the normal list of people having issues with Instagram that I think a lot of people don't notice or aren't aware of on the platform so without any further ado let's jump to the video Alright guys, before we get started, I do not have any issue with anybody in particular. This is no drama. I am honestly not into like the drama and the tea stuff. This is just things I observe and things that you might not be aware of on Instagram and on other platforms too, but specifically on Instagram because I told you for my New Year's resolution I was trying to be a better Instagrammer and I got my Instagram look going on right now. But these are things that I've noticed since trying to be a better Instagrammer that I see on the thing that kind of bother me a little bit and things you might not be aware of. So, yeah. No drama. Nothing like that. I don't want anything to do with drama. So, let's go ahead and get started with the first thing. I'm sure a lot of you guys are thinking this is all about Photoshop and over-edited bodies and clickbait thumbnails and stuff, but I'm really going to try to focus on things that aren't talked about as much, although one of them is about Photoshop. So the first thing we we're talking about is looking for promoter posts, searching for promoters, all of that kind of stuff um posts now first of all the, it sounds like a really good thing like people can be found and start getting pr if they like are a smaller creator or whatever but the issue i have with these type of posts is a lot of them are just kind of a scam honestly i have been trying to follow as many cruelty free like indie brands as i can find on instagram to like support smaller companies this year and like home businesses and stuff but I see these searching for promoter posts on some of their pages and there's an issue I have. So all these searching for promoter posts ask you to repost this picture, tag a bunch of friends, blah 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 blah. And the tagging the friends and stuff like I don't care about, but when they ask you to repost the picture for a chance to be noticed by the brand, that seems really sketchy to me um, because you never see anybody after these posts being picked to like receive PR or you know be promoted on their page or anything like that these are just like people really want the chance to be noticed by brands to start receiving PR so they can like create um, things after that the brand asked to be reposted they repost it and you never hear anything else about it now I know things like a lot of giveaways do like repost this picture for a chance to win but at least when they're doing a giveaway type of thing someone is going to win there's a guarantee that somebody is going to receive the prize at the end. There is no guarantee with these searching for promoter posts that they are going to be looking for promoters after this. They're really just looking for people to see this, repost it, and then their followers like, oh, let me check this out. I want to be a promoter too. And I think that's really sketchy. Like, there's no guarantee of anybody being a promoter from these posts. Their followers see it, repost it too. Like, it's a long chain of things. And unlike things like a giveaway or like, I don't know, a vacation or something, someone is going to win those things. There's no guarantee of anybody being a promoter for these brands, at least when they're like tagged in the comments, they can still check your profile if they're looking for promoters and see if they want to work with you. But ones that ask you to repost, it seems kind of sketchy and I'm sure a lot of brands don't have bad intentions with this. However, I think whoever started this probably is a, is a little bit sketchy because there's no guarantee of like anyone doing it. and. You're getting all these reposts and people taking advantage of it like really hoping to work with a brand and there's no guarantee of anyone actually doing it one thing i want to touch on really quickly for my second point is not disclosing sponsorships people have been a lot more aware of people not disclosing sponsorships on like youtube and stuff like that but a lot of people get away with not disclosing sponsorships on instagram they don't say ad they don't say sponsor by this they just tag the brand in the clothing they're wearing or they're obviously pushing an ad, but don't disclose, like, say ad, say sponsor, say pay promotion in the top of their picture. Like, non-disclosure on Instagram. And no one gives anybody crap on Instagram about not disclosing sponsorships. Honestly, they could literally be, like, drinking a special tea and tag people in it, and they would never disclose as a sponsorship. And, like, I don't understand that logic. If you're getting paid to promote something, say you're getting paid to promote it. And like, if the brand's willing to work with you and they want to work with you and have a good relationship with the brand, you would be proud to say they sponsored you, right? You would like be happy to be like, hey, this brand really likes me. They want to support me. We have like a dual interest. And like, just disclose your sponsorships, people. It's not that difficult. 
literally hashtag ad it's two letters whatever <laughs> I, I, i'm tired of it honestly because like i've caught i've noticed people on youtube doing it and not disclosing sponsorships and then seeing people on instagram getting no flag for it whatsoever when they don't disclose and it's really weird okay so next up i love wigs i'm wearing a wig right now and I love wigs. So I follow a lot of wig companies as well. And something I noticed with them, especially on their websites and on their Instagrams and trying to sell products, which is their job. They're trying to sell wigs. I understand. They use like influencers, real hair. Like they'll take a picture of an influencer with her real hair and promote their wig that's a similar color or style. Um, because a lot of people probably think that, oh my gosh, that's just a really realistic wig if they don't know the person behind the picture. And then they're selling a wig that has nothing to do with the original picture. Or they're taking a picture of, like, Kylie Jenner. I see a lot of times Kylie Jenner pictures, especially with, like, the green, long, straight hair, being posted on wig pages. And saying, uh, as seen on her. And it's not the same thing at all. Like, this is a $20 wig you're promoting. And you're making it seem as if Kylie's wearing this specific wig. But we all know she's not wearing a $20 wig from you. So I see a lot of people like... Um... Like big beauty influencers having their real hair out being used for wig photos. Especially on Instagram and Amazon and on their website specifically. That aren't actually wigs. You're just trying to promote it. And then sometimes it'll be really weird where the only photo they have of the wig itself is the one on the celebrity or influencer. And there's no actually like photo of the unit itself that you're going to receive in the mail. It's kind of weird. It's kind of sketchy. I feel like a lot of people don't fall for that. But some people might. Or just really like look up to this person and want to get their look. And then what you get is something completely not that. <laughs> or people will take wig creators like um oh i can't remember her last name her first name is cynthia i will leave her instagram handle up here she's a very popular wig maker um you'll see her wigs being posted by other wig companies trying to say that they're selling it when really she's the one creating the wigs by hand and dyeing them and doing all the coloring herself and people are using them as their own wig promotion and trying to sell their wigs like it's really weird the wig space is kind of sketchy you guys <laughs> um but yeah that's just something I see a lot is like really sketchy wig promotion. So next up is something you guys might see. And as like the viewer, it's not at all like y'all's issue or anything. It is simply people who do it. People who make those compilation Instagram videos and put them on like YouTube or Facebook. Places that have ads and can be monetized since Instagram videos and stuff like those views are not monetized. People who put it on monetized platforms of like compilations of videos. It's kind of crappy of you, actually. <laughs> like, people take this time and make their own videos and you just take it and put it on a monetized platform to make money off it and you have no ownership over that content. Like, if you... There's this one Instagrammer. Um, I think her name is Maureen. And she makes really great Instagram videos. I really like her videos. They're really fun. They're really cool. Sometimes she does, like, some clickbaity thumbnails and stuff, but she's also just, like, really talented. But... I see her Instagram things a lot made into compilation videos on YouTube and like that's her content. You can't just steal that and post it for like 20 minutes long just to get tons of ads on YouTube or Facebook and stuff like you're stealing someone's content like 100%. It's not like you used it to react to or anything like you stole it. People who make those type of videos, uh, it puts a bad taste in my mouth. The last point I want to get at is a little bit of the Photoshop stuff. I know you guys have heard like super fake bodies, super edited makeup pictures, blah, 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 blah. But the thing I have a real issue with and I don't understand, they're very popular. I don't get it. You guys might think it's interesting. I don't know. This pops up my explore page constantly and it is pictures like this where it's like matte versus shiny. Which one do you like better? One, they get a lot of comments for people interacting, like, which one they like. So it's, like, really popular because people will comment. And then it seems like a more popular post. So Instagram promotes it more on the Explore page. But, like, this is 1,000% fake. And then it shows you how fake things on Instagram is. If you see a lot of people who only post pictures and don't post any videos or anything, a lot of their stuff is photoshopped. Um, here's an example of a really photoshopped picture. But, like, it's obvious, so I'm not mad about it. But, like... Mm -hmm. 
I don't know. I just feel like a lot of this highlight is not real. And then they'll be selling or promoting or doing an ad for a highlighter. And they're like, hmm, but Photoshop is your highlighter. So like Photoshop and everything, everyone touches up their pictures. It's like a thing still. And some people do clickbaity thumbnails and they get really good views and whatever, whatever, Photoshop, clickbait, whatever. It's the issue with like blatantly showing how good you Photoshop something versus the like the real one. It's weird to me. And the fact that it looks believable is a little bit disturbing. Am I right? Because like, honestly, this is weird to look at for me. I don't know if it's because I see so many people like really popular on Instagram for being like super glowy. Like a lot of people on Instagram get a lot of followers for having like a super bright highlight and like it's really eye catching, but then it's not real and it's like really weird, at least to me anyways. Anyways, please let me know something down below that you have an issue with on Instagram or something like that. Of course, no drama, no tea, nothing directed at anybody in particular. Um, but these are just my opinions and some really weird and kind of bothering observations I see on the platform. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. A little bit of a channel update for you. I'm not going to be posting every single day anymore. Um, I'm going to try to post like a ton as always because I really like filming videos and doing things for you guys. But every once in a while there's a video that I'm like kind of like yesterday I filmed a foundation and concealer review and I just wasn't happy with the quality of the video so I didn't put it out. I think that's what I'm going to keep doing. If I am not 100% feeling the video, I'm just not going to put it out. So I might not have a video every single day for you guys, but I'm trying to put out the best quality that I can and I hope you guys appreciate it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I will see you in the next one.